Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hi everyone. Hope you guys are doing very well. Today we are going to solve the fifth exercise of high school English composition by Daniel Martin. And uh, what we have to do in this exercise is we have to separate the complete object first in the sentences, and then we have to separate the object from its attributes. Okay, let's start. The very first sentence we have is. The world knows nothing of its greatest man. Here in this example, we have nothing of its greatest man as the complete object. And then we have nothing as an object word. And of its greatest man is the attributes. These four, or four words, these are used as an attributes of nothing. Number two, we should learn to govern ourselves. To govern ourselves is the object, complete object, and to govern is the object word, and ourselves, only one word, is used as an attribute of this word. Number three, her arms across her breast, she lit. We have two words as the complete object, and these two words are her arms. Arms is the object word, and her is used as an attribute of. Okay. Number four, the architect drew a plan for the house. A plan for the house is the complete object. And then we have plan as an object word and the word a for with for the house. These are the attributes of this word plan. Serpents cast their skin once a year. It's the sentence number five. And in this sentence, we have their skin as the complete object and then we have skin as a as an object word and there is used as an attribute number six god tempers the wind to the shorn lamb the wind is the complete object in this example and wind the, this word only wind the word wind is the object word and then we have the this article is used as an attribute for the word wind number seven by their fruits you shall know them we have only one word as the complete object and this is the object word as well and we don't have any attribute for this sentence so this only one word will be used and we will say it is used as an as an object number eight rock the baby to sleep we have two words the baby these two words are the complete object. You can say it is used as an complete object. And we have baby as an object word. And the it is an attribute. Number nine. He enjoys his master's confidence. His master's confidence. These words are used as, an, as a complete object. And we have one word that is as a, com a, a object word. That is a confidence. Only, only confidence, not a uh, the confidence, only confidence, confidence. This word is the object word and his masters. These two or three words you can say, these are used as attributes. Number 10, I recognize your voice at once. Here we have your once as the complete object. Voice is the object word and your is the attribute. Number 11, cut your coat according to your cloth. Your coat is the complete object and coat is the object word and your is the attribute. Number 12, the Eskimos make houses of snow and ice. Houses, this word is the complete object and this word only is the object word and we don't have any attribute for this word in this example. Number 13, I had no answer to my letter. No answer to my letter is the complete object. Answer is the object word. No to my letter. These words are attributes. Number 14, the curfew tolls the knell of parting day. The knell of, the, of parting day is the complete object. Then we have knell as an, as an object word and the 
of parting day these words are used then as attributes number 15 fear no more the heat of the sun the heat of the sun these five words these are used as as a complete object as you can say and heat is the object word the of sun these words are attributes last one and this is number 16 evil communications corrupt good manners good manners is the complete object and manners is used as an object word and good is the attribute of this word thanks for watching